The most successful pirate ever was actually a female. In the 19th century, a Chinese debauchery worker and widow of the late pirate Qing I succeeded her husband and rose to lead a force of around 1800 pirate ships comprised of 80,000 men. The secrets that she learnt about her powerful clients while she was working came in handy as well as she got power over her wealthy and political connections. Her fleet went undefeated, despite many attempts by several navies to destroy it. She ended up dying at the ripe age of 69. These 10 companies made the most money in 2022. From 10 to 5 is Toyota, Berkshire Hathaway, CVS Health, United Health Group, and Exxon Mobil. Making $360 billion is Apple, with State Grid making $6 billion more. The third most profitable company was Chinese oil company Sinopec Group. Coming in at number 2 was the US online retailer Amazon with $477 billion in revenue. But the company that made the most money in 2022 was the US retailer Walmart, making $576 billion. Lego once made special bricks just for architects. You see, in the early 1960s, the managing director of Lego at the time was trying to build a house but found that the Lego bricks he was using weren't to scale, and his house was also not to scale. This annoyed him, so he got Lego to make Modulex, a Lego brick with a ratio of 5 to 5. Modulex bricks were identifiable from the M on their bricks instead of the L that Legos carry. And these bricks lived for a short while until being discontinued in the 1970s. Mexico City is sinking and is in dire condition. In the 14th century, the Aztecs built their city on an island in the middle of a big lake. The Spanish eventually came and raised the city, drained the lake, and built a new city on top of the drained lake. Modern day Mexico City still drains water from this lake as well, leading to the entire city sinking. But this city isn't sinking all at once and instead in large sections, and this is a danger for buildings, roads, and the metro systems of Mexico City. Egypt is well known for its pyramids, but did you know that Sudan has more? Built for the Nubian kings around 751 BC, the over 200 pyramids in Sudan were heavily influenced by the 118 Egyptian pyramids. They are different though being more narrow than their counterparts. There were more pyramids in Sudan though. In the 1830s, an Italian treasure hunter leveled some 40 pyramids in the search of treasure. When he returned home and tried to sell his treasure, no one believed that treasure could be found in sub-Saharan Africa, so the pyramids were just left crumbling. Have you ever wondered why there are expiration dates on plastic water bottles? I mean, you would think that water wouldn't have a date for expiration, right? Well, that is correct. The water will not expire, but what will expire is the bottle. You see, after a certain time period, the bottle will start leaching harmful chemicals into the water. All plastic bottles do this, hence why they have expiration dates. These are the biggest ships of their kind. The biggest battleship ever built weighed 72,000 tons, and one of its turrets weighed as much as a US destroyer of the time. But that's not all. The biggest warship to date is the carrier USS Ford at 110,000 tons. These warships unfortunately pale in comparison to the size of the biggest cruise ships in the world, such as the Wonder of the Seas, or the biggest container ships from CMA CGM. The biggest super tanker was the Balamea, and the biggest ship ever is the Crean ship Pioneering Spirit, at over 400,000 tons. Velociraptors were known for being effective hunters, but no one knows what they sounded like. When filming Jurassic Park, sound designers decide to use other animals to voice the dinos. At first, geese hissing and horses breathing were considered, but the designers eventually came upon the best match mating turtles. It takes a photon 200,000 years to travel from the core of the sun to its surface, 
but only eight minutes from the sun's surface through space to your eyeball. This is because light starts as a type of radiation known as gamma radiation. Once generated inside the sun's core, this radiation is continually absorbed by an atom and then re-radiated out of the atom. Slowly as this turns into visible light, where it travels at the speed of light down to Earth. McDonald's tried to appeal to kids more, so they decided to make a bubblegum flavoured broccoli. As anyone would think, it was a failure, and children said that they felt confused with the flavour. Did you know that your funny bone is not actually a bone? You see, when you accidentally hit your funny bone, you're hitting your humerus bone against your ulnar nerve. The nerve that tells your brain about sensations in the ring and pinky fingers. This is why you sometimes get that tingling sensation. If you cut off a cockroach's head, it will still be alive and live for a week. This is because a roach's circulatory system is in its body, and it breathes through small holes in its body. A roach also has two brains, one in its skull, and a more primitive one in its abdomen. If it does manage to lose its head though, it will just slowly starve to death, as it can't actually eat anything. China's navy has more ships than the US, but would it be able to win in a fight? First, let's break down the major warships. When it comes to capital ships, the US currently has 11 supercarriers with two under construction, whereas the People's Navy only has three. The US also has nine amphibious assault ships that can act as small aircraft carriers, while China has three under construction. When it comes to destroyers, the US also beats China with 72 compared to 50 respectively, but China has more submarines with 79 compared to 68. Both countries also have other support ships, but when it comes to brute firepower, the US has more aircraft and more missiles as their destroyers carry twice the amount that China has. Of course, this fleet composition will change in the next few years as China continues to build more ships and the US Navy's budget decreases. A stunt double for Harry Potter was paralyzed after shooting this scene. David Holmes was a stunt double for Potter actor Daniel Radcliffe from The Philosopher's Stone. While he was rehearsing a stunt for The Deathly Hallows, an explosion happened while Holmes was flying. He was thrown against a wall and pulled back by a high stretch wire, instantly breaking his neck. He spent the next nine months at hospital, but he could never walk again. While he does have a disability, he stays positive and lives with it not letting him hold it back from living his life. Did you know that a mouse can fit through a hole that is one quarter of an inch in size? That is because mice don't have collarbones, which means they can fit through these small holes. 